So we got most of the body work done. We went around the whole car one time with our body filler. Now we're going to mix a little bit of epoxy up and go over that rear spoiler again and maybe some of the body kit on the back, uh, the back side skirts. And what else? Maybe some of the cracks on the body kit we're going to fill with the epoxy because it's a lot stronger than uh, the regular Bondo. Then we're going to mix some more Bondo up and go over all the low spots. So let's just check out uh, what we have to do. Okay, so as you see, we still have to work on our front. Now we're going to fill these up with Bondo right now after we do our epoxy. What we did here was we flattened it out with 80 grit on the DA. We made sure the body kit was flat. So now that we see it looking all white like that, we know it's flat. In this area, we're a little low here, so we might lay a little skin of Bondo right here. Okay, so we were using this black primer here on the body kit as a guide coat, okay? So you can see the low spot here. So we're going to just fill it right there. Uh, these little dings and dents are all good. We still have to work on the edge of this fender because when we rolled it, we pinched it shut with pliers, right? So we have little ripples in here. We're going to have to just put a little skin coat of Bondo in this area. Okay. Uh, we missed one ding right here, so we're going to fill that. Uh, this was a little high spot. You could see the metal where we pulled out. So I just got a hammer and I tapped that down. Now we're going to go ahead put a little skin over there. As you see, we have a little low spot there. That was the crease, actually. So we're going to put a skin on that. Okay, here's our rear. So we're going to put a little bit more epoxy on it. And if we have to, after that, we're going to put a little bit of Bondo over that. Okay. So we have our rear filled up. See, it looks looks very good. It's all filled. One skin coat did that. Uh, down in here, we're just going to add a little bit more epoxy in there. We could actually use Bondo, but I'm going to mix epoxy up anyway. Um, these look good. Okay, this is a little low in here. As you can see, it's really low. Okay, we flattened it out with our 80 grit DA, okay? You always want to keep your DA flat against the surface of the body. This way you know you're cutting flat, okay? Then you can see your low spot. So as you see this area, yeah, it's a little low. If we sanded it more, we could probably take it out just by sanding and cutting around it. But as you see, this is really shiny in here. That means you know that's a little more deep. So we're going to put a little skin of Bondo on that one too. Okay. The rest of this body kit in here we're not going to really deal with because it feels good. It doesn't feel like it's ripply or anything. Up in here we're all done. Oh, let me adjust the camera. Okay. So up in here we have a low spot. Okay, so what I did was I got the DA and I went around. I took up this space, okay, and this is low in here because the DA was hitting out here and it was his, it was hitting the Bondo, so you know that this is low. So we're going to add one skin coat here and a little bit right in this corner because she's a little low. So we're just going to build it up a little bit more on this corner. Uh, looks like we have a little low spot here too. You can see the little ding, so we're going to fill that. So we're just going to put a paste right there. Um, this part we we did our okay you see these cracks these are just original cracks we're just gonna get our finger with some epoxy and just fill all of that in we blow the whole car down okay so there's no dust on it and we're also gonna fill this little areas up with a little bit of Bondo because uh, this is what happened when we pinched it This thing came out really good. It feels like it's already there. So we're not going to worry about that. It's, that one's fixed. And of course, we're going to do this one. We have to build it up all the way around. 